Hi guys, Todd here. I, I wasn't going to review this today, but I thought, what the hell? Uh, I'm waiting on my dinner, so it's uh, cooking away in the oven, so we might as well do some cooking out here as well. This is the Limitless RDTA. Um, now this was given to me at uh, Vape Expo uh, by a really tall bloke, um, the head honcho from Limitless. Uh, this is this, this thing's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Um, it's out with my comfort zone. Uh, I do not believe that this is for anybody that likes any kind of restricted mouth to lung, slightly open draw. This is just balls to the wall mad. This is just it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. But nuts in a good way. If you like that kind of thing. Um, I mean I've got this closed off quite tight and I can get a restricted lung hit on it. Uh, but even at that I find you you really have to whack the power up to, to get a really good vape from it. it I, there's loads of reviews out there and people have told you lots of different things I'm sure but in my humble opinion and the way I normally vape uh, the best flavour everything from this is just open up the airflow and knock your socks off I'm just a, a humble uh, 40 watts on a 0 0.4 ohm coil and the airflow is, is open about a fifth If I wanted to, I could, well, I mean, with this fully open, uh, I can breathe through this. I mean, I could, it's just, it's nuts. I mean, 70 watts, airflow fully open. And I'm not coughing. Um, yes. It's mental, nuts. So if you don't like any of that kind of vaping, then just switch off and go and watch something more interesting instead, or less boring instead. Uh, I think, that, I mean, you can get this for about £25 in the UK. Just go and Google it, and the first, I think the first one I found was vapeclub.co.uk at 25 quid. It's an absolute billy bargain, but close-ups. So here we are at the Limitless RDTA and it comes from a combo of iJoy and Limitless. Well presented. Inside you're going to find spare o-rings, grub screws, allen key and you'll find different coloured o-rings as well. The default ones are black but you have red ones here as well. Now here's the tank and yes I've been using this. Uh, now the 510 threading gold plated. Uh, it is a bit on the long side. I mean, you are looking at just under 5mm I made this out to be, but you can see the 510 pin protrudes a hell of a lot from there. So you've no worries with putting this on a hybrid, and you do have all the branding going on here. Uh, we've got a, a glass tank going on here, uh, it's all stainless steel, and up the top we have adjustable airflow. Right, let's break this down. Top cap pulls off, like so. Airflow is I'm not going to measure it, we're just going to call this massive. It's the biggest airflow I've ever seen on anything in my life. Um, we've got limitless branding going on here and you can, I mean, you do get this reducer if you want to call it that, uh, this little guy here. You can vape it like that, fully open, or you can pop this on. Now, it's not 510, uh, you won't get a 510 drip tip on that either, I'm afraid. But the, the way this is designed, it's really, you're, you're wanting a fully open airflow like that. This does pop out and you can see that it's really only designed for dual coil only. You're not going to run this as a single. If you're old and your eyesight is crap like mine, you will see that it's quite hard to see how much you have reduced this by. Um, you know, when you're adjusting the airflow. But let's say that might just be my poor eyesight. Uh, inside it's quite a large chamber in there. It is quite large. So here's our deck. Right, velocity. Uh, thank you Cisco and Dino for this one. 
but yes, it's a velocity post going on there. We have two mil uh, holes in the terminal posts there. And you can see I've got a little build going on here. And as I said, that's 0 0.4 ohm. This has come out at. We have huge wick holes here, here, and the same on the other side. Now, what you can do, uh, and we'll come back to the fill hole in a minute, you can actually like unscrew this. So take that off, badoink, and you, know, you can work in your deck uh, with that off, uh, and even with juice still in the tank. And I do like that feature on it. It comes in handy when you go to build this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some cotton in here just now. Uh, I've got loads of cotton there, I mean loads, but I don't. Uh, people are some people are different. Uh, Dean came up with a a, build, a different build for his, but uh, this is a this is an old style. Uh, this is like an old Genesis style build, if you like. Uh, you've got your 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 corners there, so I'm just going to take my wick and just pop it down into the tank. It's not touching the bottom of the tank, it's not going to fill the tank right out. But I'm just making sure that it goes down. Now the way I like it is just so that my cotton's just nipped inside that tank, uh, the glass bit. It's just nipped in there and no more. And just make sure that uh, all the cotton is going to be inside the little slots that are there. You know, because you're going to put your ring back on and you don't want the cotton getting caught up in the threads. So I'm quite happy with the way everything is looking there just now. Does me just nicely. Then I'm going to take this bit, pop it back over the top and just screw it down. Now, your filling hole here, you want to try and make sure that that's in between uh, the posts. So I'm just going to keep turning that round. And that's where I kind of want her to be. She's just kind of off centre from the posts there. But then you have to go in and make sure that the cotton isn't blocking this off. So I'm just going to push that cotton to one side. Just get you out of the way. And kind of go around and tidy this up a little bit. And there we go. Job done. That's it. You can see I've not got, you can hardly see any cotton in the deck, in the, the tank there. I don't need it. I really don't need it. And the way I fill this up is you just, you've got a little fill symbol there. You just stick the needle of your bottle in and just fill her up. You can get a, a dripper in there, you can, you know, it's dead easy to fill this thing, it really is. And that's me full to the gunnels. I'll just put some liquid over this as well. Take this, make sure my air slots are in front of the coils, pop it down, and that's me done. I'm good to go and vape. Well, that was short and sweet. Uh, listen, I've flown through this one because... I, I really, it's a very simple device. Um, I mean, it holds four mil of juice, um, but if you go packing the cotton down right into the tank, that will reduce. Uh, as I said, I don't have any cotton. You can't see any cotton in there at all. Now, I've never had one single dry hit from this and vaping it, for me, silly wattages. When I tilt it to take a vape, it soaks the bottom of the cotton. Um, as I said, never had a single issue with wicking on this thing. It just performs like crazy. It's just, it is, it's a bonkers thing. I mean, 24 mill millimeters in diameter, and you know what, if you've got the the full drip tip set up on, it's 50 mil in height. Um, so it's, it's not the smallest tank under the sun, but for the type of, just I don't, for the type of vape you're getting from it, it's fun. This is a fun device. Um, and from somebody that, as I said, doesn't vape normally like this, I do enjoy vaping with this. Um, mainly because it wicks well. Uh, the flavour, and this is another thing, I do believe you have to run this, and much like I said with the, the Hourglass RDA in a previous review, um, 
you really have to be building below 0 0.5 um, and ramping the wattage up to get full effect from this device. It's if you're not comfortable or do not like building sub ohm, uh, not just sub ohm but below 0 0.5, then uh, this is not for you. Really all in, it's I've got to say it's mostly positives for this thing. Uh, once again, taking into account the type of vape it delivers. Uh, negatives uh, are got to be the, the lack of 510. Lack of 510 drip tip is a major negative for me. Um, also, when you take the top cap off and put it back on, the bottom o-rings, it seems to get a bit wet there. And every time you pop the top cap back on, you have to give it a wipe down. Uh, that's a constant. The other thing is, if you leave this thing lying on its side, it will leak. It will leak all over you. Um, it doesn't matter how much cotton I'm stuffing in those wick holes. Um, it, it, you know, it's going to leak. Uh, or at least that's my findings. Um, I, actually, I was watching a program the other night. And I had the thing. I don't know why. I had my arms folded like that. And this was leaning like this here. And I, I just I was covered in juice. Absolutely covered. I like the fill system on it. I think the fill system is really clever. Uh, they did a good job on that. Let's have another cycle vape. 70 watts. Me. Me. 70 watts. Tasty. It is a tasty vape at that wattage, which is just daft for me. I just I find it hard to get my head around that. Once again, I've shaved it down to 40 watts. I actually get better flavour at the 70 watts than I do at the 40 watts. I'll never get my head around this cloud chasing thing. It's not my style of vaping, but there you go. Now, this is not something I would go and buy. I mean, I got this free for review. Um, I just wouldn't go and buy this because it's not for me. However, in saying that, I would recommend it to anybody that um, likes high wattage vaping. Uh, it's it's good bloody fun. Um, it's good fun. Silly amount of vapor production from it, obviously depending on your liquid, your build and all that jazz. Um, but I think it's a good bit of kit and for the money it's a billy bargain. Thank you to Limitless for uh, passing this on to me at Vape Expo. Once again I got it free for review. You can get this pretty much anywhere. There's a heap of reviews out there and you'll get a lot more details and in-depth review. This was me skimming the surface and just giving you my thoughts as somebody who just finds this a total blast. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.